It's good to have you on. And, uh, you know, I ain't going to be uh, disrespectful or anything. I'm going to just admit I don't like you. So, you know, just put that out there. But I am going to try to be as respectful as possible. And if anytime you feel like I'm, you know, saying anything that's really offensive, uh, you know, you can point it out. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to offend. You know, the scriptures say exercise not to offend because I really want to make sure questions get heard. Now, as far as uh, the topic of today, the topic, uh, as you can see, you know, is will the Israelites have African servants in the kingdom of heaven? Now, I just want to say for this uh, claim of purpose is already, you know, just to throw it out there is that I don't agree with the term African. We have people in Africa. So when we're dealing with African, I'm talking about people that are in the continent uh, that are not Israelites, any non-Israelite people that are in Africa, because we have people in every continent, you know, including Africa, and they've been in Africa for thousands of years. So I'm um, not talking about all Af uh, all people of Africa. You know, you even got white South Africans, uh, you know, though those are included in the Africans that we're talking about as well. The Arabs, the Turks that are out there in Egypt and throughout Africa, those uh, I want to make sure that those are uh, addressed as being African, especially since a lot of them would claim they're African to some degree. Now, um, brother, I tell um, you know uh, we was going to dialogue and go back and forth in a you know respectful manner. I want you to go ahead and ask your first question, and uh, you know, and I'll I'll be sure to answer it. And uh, if you don't mind, towards the end or towards the middle, I have some questions as well. So you're saying you just want me to ask ask you a question? Yeah, and I really want you to clarify why you're asking this question. You know, clarify why, you know, you know, why you want to actually talk about this specific subject. Well, yeah, okay, I can, let's start there. The reason why to talk about this specific subject is a lot of times when people discuss One West eschatology, They'll focus overly focus on you know white folks, and I think that's a mistake. I think that's an error. I don't think that really paints a complete picture. I think that when we have these discussions, it's also important to discuss the one West Hebrew Israelite view of other nations as well, from that perspective, because a lot of people know about the twelve tribes of Israel chart. Not a lot of people know about this 18 nations idea, though. And each one is supposed to be able to trace to each people group is supposed to be able to be directly um, linked up or made equivalent, you know, with a nation in the Bible, modern people group. And on that, you would have Hamites as non-Israelite Africans. And you would have the 12 tribes chart. Distinct from that. And so the idea is, if you're a Hebrew Israelite, and now, say, in America, you would say, yeah, my ancestors lived on the continent of Africa. But they were not Hamitic. They were Semitic people, or Shemitic, as some people prefer. you know. And so there, what do we got? We got a situation where, if it is true that there's an eternal kingdom that has people on the 12 tribes chart on top and everyone else on bottom, then what you'll have is a situation where in this schema of things, you'll have eternal slavery for the other nations. Now, for the so-called white folks, not them, it's only a thousand years. But for the other nations, eternal slavery of some form or another. So you have this idea of that includes African slaves, which when I think about civil rights, and when I think about even the struggle to overcome apartheid, you know, a lot of that was like overcoming unjust treatment of people that would be, you know, people would say they're descended from him. A lot of that is to, to, to overcome unjust treatment of people who people would traditionally think descend in some way from Africa. And I think that's a good thing to overcome those injustices and call those injustices out and say we should not do those things, whether it's apartheid segregation, Jim Crow, obviously antebellum slavery, 
those kinds of things. Redlining, I mean, it's a long list, right? Well, Hebrew Israelite of the One West Variety Eschatology says, no, 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 actually, slavery is a good thing. It's just who's in charge. That's the question we've got to ask according to that perspective. It's just who's going to be the slave master and who's going to be the slave. And it's mind-blowing to me to think you have one West Hebrew Israelites who believe they're going to own black slaves in the kingdom. And it's not just people that you would think of like um, people that they would think would be assigned Judah. That means people from the designation of Naphtali, you know, light-skinned Chileans with black slaves. It's pretty mind-boggling to me. And I'm just trying to understand how people can wrap their head around that being a biblical notion, that being a biblical idea. Because what I see in Scripture is we are slaves, but we're either slaves to sin or slaves to Christ. And Paul uses that word over and over again, doulos. No, sorry, so let, let, let me interject real fast for a second, because mm -hmm. you just said something there at the end. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. make sure we address, you know, clarify everything you said before. But when you say we're a slave to sin, and then you say we're a slave to sin or Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Now, those are two forms of slaves, right? When you're a slave to sin or slaves of Christ, that don't that don't involve getting your back beat in, getting whipped, getting put in chattel slavery as a whole with your people. Now, mm -hmm. when you say we are slave of Christ, do you mean by you, the, uh, you know, as far as yourself, you know, and your people, do you consider y'all slaves in the manner that my people went through as far as slavery here? Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of Christians who have been slaves. And so in the future, Christians are going to be slaves of Christ. So when I talk about my people, my people have been in, in slavery as Christians. Now, is, uh, is, in, is the, Christ, in the future, we'll be slaves of Christ. Is Christ going to mm -hmm. be beating y'all back in and whipping y'all and, uh, you know, uh, uh, doing pretty much doing y'all how y'all did black people here in America? Is Christ going to, because you say you. Well, I don't know. I don't know why you're saying y'all. I mean, the, the, what's that to do? You say, Christian. you say Christians. You say Christians. So I'm saying, as far as you Christians, is Christ, yeah, I don't, be, is he, Christ going to be the type of slave master to your people as you were to my people? <laughs> this is not really what the debate's about. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just saying it is about slavery I, and having slaves. Yes. So I just want to focus. But on here's the people. thing to come. You brought, brought up certain points that didn't involve the actual subject, but they. It I, kinda I like, hear you. It, it kind of like I understand why you're bringing them in because because when you talk about trying to justify enslaving one group of people of course other things come up that involves you know uh put making them our servants but I, right I but i mean uh, oh, you're I not really know. anti you're not really i mean your position and you're not anti-slavery well no i'm not anti-slavery because the bible is not anti-slavery here's what you've got going on you believe you believe Do you think this guy you know, right here looks like me do you think this guy looks like me this is the this is really you think stupid this guy now, like bro me? Do you think this all, all really people stupid. in Africa look exactly the same to you, huh? No. Nope. Do you believe that you're going to have a situation where people who look like Katazov, I-S-U-P-K, are going to own black slaves? Well, I believe Katazov. Yeah, I think Katazov is going to own people that look like this right here. He's going to own these people. He's going to own – who else is Katazov going to own? He's going to own this doodle-eating African right here. The Masai, the Masai, he gonna own them. Yeah, he gonna own some black slave, some uh, black skin slave, just like he's gonna own a bunch of your cousins in them. Do you think that Kadaza will be able to have sex with any of the black slaves he wants? Well, I believe that Israelites are going to be having sex with their slaves. N man, what type of retarded question is that, bro? What type of retarded question? No, we're not. Do you gonna believe? Be no, we, we first of all, we are the holy children of God. We're not going to be sticking our penises in no other person but our women. Hmm. Okay. That's um, not in the scriptures. So, but I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show so, you that. So, so, so you, you, you'll have black slaves, but you won't have sex with them. Bro, to have sex with anybody that is not you're not married to is what? Well, no. What if you have an unmarried African black slave? Would you have sex with that one? What you mean? Take her as my? Why would I do that? And I go. Matter of fact, let me show you something. Let I don't know. But 
Because, I mean, <laughs> bro, well, brother, understand a lot of Hebrews lights teach that you will be able to do that. Are you disagreeing with them? Man, only people teach. Oh, you only have certain groups. You have the, you're talking about the very small minimum group. You're talking about uh, maybe two groups out of hundreds. Okay, so, but forget about them. My point was to say, do you believe you're going to have sex with your slaves if they're not married? I'm about to show you what I believe. That cool, you, you got, would you be able to take one of these black African Hamitic women and make them your concubine if you wanted? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I believe, all right? And it's easier to let the uh, the, the uh, scripture speak, right? If you have an Ammonite slave, a Japanese slave, could you take her as your concubine and have sexual relationships with her? So do you believe you're do you believe you have concubines in the kingdom, Naquam? Okay, let me show is my screen sharing? Can y'all see my yeah. screen? Well, okay. now you're Naquam. Now, now I'm, are you, I'm a I'm a you, read, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you what I believe, right? Naquam, do this you believe you have concubines? Look, I'm about to show this, you brother. This I is I not believe. even a good passage for this. This passage it, it, is saying be faithful to your wife. This is so sad you're going here. This it passage says, is just saying be faithful on, to your wife. Me, it's not even it's about answer. foreign women. Let me answer, oh bro. This is about strange women. This it's is about, about women of other races. Yeah. Women that so, ain't your so, wife, bro. So That's all it's more, about. Bro. Let me read it. This is Proverbs 5 and 17. It said, let them only be thine own and not strangers with thee. Who are these strangers? Strange women. It says, verse 18, let thy fountains be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Who is the wife of thy youth? The wife that the Most High gave you in the beginning. The Israelite woman. Hold on, let me finish reading. Verse 19. Let her be as the loving hind and the pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished with al always with her love. Verse 20. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? So, no, I don't believe that the most. Matter of fact, let's read verse 21. For the ways okay. of men are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondered all his going. Meaning the most high he can see when a man is dealing outside of the law of things. So, no, I don't believe that uh, uh, that the uh, most high is going to just allow me to sleep with a heathen woman in the kingdom. I believe they're going to be getting okay. they I believe that 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 Edomite woman is going to be getting her back beat in with you. And we ain't going to need to go out there like y'all used to do our mothers and rape them in a the barn. Or I'm going to say grape them in a the barn for this, for the sake of this channel, uh, uh, this platform on YouTube. But, yeah, I don't believe that, like, your forefathers, they would just go out and grape one of the women and, uh, you know what I'm saying, and take her from her men and take them up to the bed to be a bed wench. I don't believe that's going to be going on in the kingdom. Why? Because the scripture says don't be ravished with our own women's love. It says and don't right. be ravished with a stranger or don't embrace a bosom of a so, stranger. So do you believe you have concubines in the kingdom of Quam? Do, yeah, concubines of our well technically so, well, technically wives. Uh uh as far as concubine in a, a traditional sense where we can have concubines of the other nations, no. Okay, so you have concubines only of Israelite women. No no uh no technically, like I said, there be wives in the kingdom. It's only wives. Well, you don't read about oh, okay. concubines in the kingdom. Okay, so like if you for read example, about concubines being in the kingdom, then I would say yes. But you don't read about there being any type of concubines in the kingdom. I've never seen that. So before. why did you call the African doodoo eating? Because they a lot of them eat doodles and they stick their head heads up cows' ass. You want to see? Would you like a video? Yeah, I mean, you know. That seems like you're sort of stereotyping Africans in a negative way. No, I'm not stereotyping Africans because when I say Africa, first of all, I said Hemites. And when I say Hemites, yeah, I'm talking about certain races in Africa. I'm not talking about all African. Like I said, we I got know. African okay. Israelites. We got African Israelites. Just like this. You got South Africans. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I understand. I so Hemitic, Hemitic Africans. Africans. And a lot Hemitic of them Africans. Are a lot of, uh, hold on. You got Semitic white africans no i the said hermetic hermetic i'm saying okay so i'm just saying to be more specific hum, uh, you only believe you have slaves of hermetic africans right. right okay so but do you think that's a, a godly way to talk about another people group that they eat and do -do? Hell yeah especially if they've been eating doodle -doo, man what type of shit is that that's like your people like your people like to eat meat with blood in it 
for me to not just for, for for you to claim it's an insult for me to say that y'all eat blood when we can go to videos showing various white people eating and drinking blood or eating uh, mm. raw meat. For you to say it's wrong for me to speak about them in that way, that they're a bunch of raw meat eating bastards, for you to say that is wrong because I'm only telling the truth. So you think so it's wrong you? for somebody to tell the truth just because it, the, the reality of what you're doing or what another person, people group might be doing is uh, so is, 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 is not. What not do you think positive. are some other what do you think are some other stereotypes of Africans that show that they're inferior to you? What do uh, stereotypes of Africans? Yeah, that show they're inferior to you. Well, I'm going to go to a scripture real fast. How about that? I'm going to go to a scripture. So when you have African yeah. slaves and the when you have Hamitic African slaves, will you um will you forbid them from eating doo-doo, as you said? Of course, they won't be eating doo-doo in the kingdom. I'm talking about the Afri how they are now, just like your people. Your people like to have mm. sex with dogs and monkeys and all type of shit. They mm. like to have sex with their daughters. No, they your your kids will not be uh sleeping with their mothers and fathers uh in the kingdom. They might be able to do it right now. They might mm. be able to do it right now. You can't you, listen. Your wife or your woman, or uh, I don't know if she's Caucasian, but if she is, or any Caucasian women of your race, you know they're known for laying and sleeping with dogs. In the kingdom, they're not going to be able to sleep with the dogs anymore. Does that answer your question? Well, hey, we agree with that. Bestiality is a sin. So when it comes to Hamitic Africans, do you believe they're inferior to people who are Puerto Rican and Cuban? Are Hamitic Africans mm -hmm. inferior to them? Yeah, the ones of uh, so-called black and indigenous descent. But no, they're not inferior to the Cubans that are of Spaniard descent or are Puerto Rican that are of Spaniard descent on their mm. father's side. So you, when you think about it, the 12 tribe is not talking about everybody in those lands. It's talking about the specific demographic. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Well, I know. I know. When you look at Egypt, Egypt got four or five different races there. So when the Bible talks about Egypt, my people, is he talking about all the Egypt, all, all the different races of people that live in Egypt? No, he's talking about the Israelites. When you go to certain parts of the world that our people are scattered, there may be a conglomerate of nations there. I'm not talking about everybody that's in that land that called themselves. I, I know. I know. How, I know. I yeah. understand Ariyah's chart. I understand. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. mean and everyone saying, in the land. It's not Ariyah's chart. It's not well, he's the one who made it up. Yeah, of course it's his chart. It's not his chart. He okay. might have created it, but the, the actual studies of it. See, that's how I know you don't study. You just well, Naquam, listen. Naquam, listen. do you Girl, know when the – Naquam, do you know push, when the very first – I was even born that proves that certain – that the tribes that we claim are on that chart are on that chart. I actually have books that prove it. So if you want to say it's, yeah, you it's have hard just because he was the first one that that just like saying that uh uh that because Isaac uh Newton uh the, uh made the the laws and drew out the laws of gravity meaning he created gravity that's his gravity no it's not his gravity right he, it's not his gravity it was already around so hey, we agree with that Newton we Newton would uh, would be a discoverer not an inventor agree with that point but check right. this out so you're talking about the riot well, he discovered Quam. that our people were in those locations Quam, but, not, but check this out he did not put them there neither did he come up with the outline the quam being there so that's why yeah, I'm saying uh, don't say Aria, Aria was a lot of things but a global traveler was not one of them now look do you know I the know earliest try to travel the globe to study people? You, well, you I said didn't he travel the globe neither, and I learned a lot about more races, so many different races. And it's like I know more about certain races of people and their religion and beliefs and history than they do. And mm. they might be from that country. They might have traveled the world. They don't might not know nothing. For example, so, you learned that somebody's knowledge <laughs> based off of them. Okay. Well, what the Quam? What's the African tribe from. according to you that eats doo doo? What African tribe is that? Bro, are we here to discuss us having African slaves, or am I here to point out how much shit certain a uh, certain him well, him be eating? I'm making a point that you don't really know as much about these groups as you might claim. I'm but a point that I'm going to show you. How about I but show you? But how check this I out, Naquam. Yeah. But Naquam, check this out. When it comes to this 12 tribes chart, do you know when the very first 12 tribes chart existed? What year? Okay. Now, y'all see my screen because this dude playing games. 
Now you see this. These guys put their heads, they let cows pee on their head. And this dude is up here defending them and talking all this stuff like I'm wrong. No, they put their heads in cows' butts. You see this? Well, yeah, why is that man cow, putting his, look, look, his head is all in that cow's ass. Guess what comes out of an ass? But what's it says? What's it says right under it? It says, "It says an Ethiopian blowing in the cow's butt to force her to produce milk." Right, and this Ethiopian, and guess what? It's a Cushite. Well, Mar I, I, I Moses, Moses, Moses married a Cushite. So what? Okay, it, obviously it wasn't a Cushite that was sticking her head up a cow's ass. Because well, how do you know what that? Old. How do you know what that? How do you know what that Cushite did before Moses because married? She had to follow the laws of God to even be with Moses. Dumb, dumb. You know that. Come on, but bro. See, You're telling me but she I mean, was, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you telling me that Moses married a a a a a, 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 a Ethiopian woman that wasn't following the customs that he followed? Well, if she's a Cushite, you I'm know, I'm asking she, you, brother. It's a yes or no. I'm saying before I'm asking before yes or no. before Moses married her, yes I don't know no, what she was bro. doing. See, I don't know. See, I don't know what. Me to just say yes or no. It's just I, yes or no. no. The you answer is I don't. Yes or no question. I don't know. I don't know. See, that's how the devil works. The devil. The devil always. I just said I don't know. Hypocrite when it comes to uh, answering. Nakwam, I don't yes. know what Moses's Cushite wife was doing before Moses married her, and neither do right. you. Right. And I don't know if she was had her head up a cow's ass or not. But guess what? I know if she was with him, that she couldn't have been doing it. So okay, I, I, I think that's probably likely. She was doing probably before would be a dumb question when the Bible don't say it. I think that's I think that's likely. You know what's that all Africans or all tribes of Africa or all Ethiopians put their heads up a cow's ass? No, certain tribes do though. So, so yeah, the one that doing, that man again, that like man I was said, doing it. Everybody in to be the same way just because they are black or so called African. I'm not saying but that all man. Are the right, same. But that man that man was doing it so the cow could produce milk. You know what's interesting know about he was doing it. He had his head in the cow's ass. You got to be you, well. No, it says he was blowing. But uh, but well, check this blowing, out, bro. We just literally saw his face all up. In, man, bro, stop playing. Well, did games, you bro. did you read the caption on the picture you even brought up? Caption. But you know what's what it's funny though. You're banging. It's so, it's funny. You're, I, saw, I know you bro. didn't see the caption. Now, Kwame, it's funny. You're you're banging. Naquam, will you please Come let on, me say I'm something? Think you're not very bright, bro. Naquam, did you I notice knew how? I wasn't very bright, but now you're starting to make shit worse, bro. Because I thought you were smarter than this. You just saw that image of that man's face all up in that cow's ass. It wasn't a, it wasn't an inch away. It was all the way in there. So that Naquam, like, like you couldn't yeah, see his face. It was buried in that cow's ass, yeah, yeah. and you gonna sit up here and defend it and act like, oh, he no, was, no, I just read the I'm caption. I wonder and think maybe you do the same type of shit in your spare time. And, and, uh, and I, I live, I live you, downtown Phoenix. Cows, cows animals? are not, cows are not something that, that I'm around. No, I'm, I'm a city boy. I don't even mess with no farm animals okay, in any way. I don't. The only, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing. I the only thing, the only thing I do, the only thing I do, farm animals is eat them. Now look, Naquam, Moses had a Cushite wife, and that's interesting because that also proves that Israelites can have women of different nations, and that one specifically would be a black Hamitic African woman who no, you no. say you're gonna. So let me ask you this, Naquam: no, 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 Do you believe Naquam? Hold on, Naquam, you've been on, talking. You haven't let me really speak here, Naquam. Do you say, believe? You ain't gonna let me respond Nikwam, to that. Do you believe? Do you? Well, let's just. The, the the thing is, I was just bringing it up to go to a point. Do you believe that Moses's Cushite wife will be owned by an Israelite in the kingdom? I think Moses. Yes, yeah, she's gonna be owned by him. She is his wife. But I wife thought you is can't man's possession. But won't she need to be a slave if she's of another nation? No, first of all, Moses' wife came before he got the laws of God. He came out of Egypt with his wife. I, I know. I'm not I dissing that. that. No, so what I'm saying is, if, I the, hear you. if you were, if he, anything happened before the slavery, I mean, before the Exodus, anything that happened before the law was given was, was obviously not a problem. Once the law was put in place, what that mean? That he should put her away? This is the problem that Miriam and Aaron had. That with Miriam no, Numbers 12.1. Right, I hear you. Like, Naquam. She had an issue with it because of the law. Right. But the law God allowed it because where, he was already married to her. 
Naquam, we're tracking. I'm not even really disagreeing with I you right now. I understand that. I'm just I'm talking just, loud and passionately, bro. But at the same I'm, time, I'm answering your question. I hear you, and I appreciate that. Thank you. I do appreciate that. But what I'm saying is, do you believe that she will – won't she need – to be owned as a slave, not as a wife? Because remember earlier, you said that you can't lay down with a woman of another nation because it's a foreign woman. And so even though they married before he received that law, okay, we'll go with that. She's still a woman of another nation. So the law is in effect now, which you believe would prohibit his ability to marry a Cushite woman. So wouldn't she by default have to be a slave? Listen, she is his possession. You know what a possession means? Yeah, but she can't be his wife because you can't have a Cushite wife, right? Wife. She can be his wife. Okay, so then Israelites will have foreign women as wives in the kingdom, according to you. No, I'm saying that Moses, before the law was given, was allowed to have his wife because his wife not only was his wife in order, but it was before he get the law. You think the most high is going to tell him, oh, Brother, well, but now you got the law, the, you got to put away your wife, even though that I, she's, no, I'm not, I don't believe the, that. I, the screen just you like have Ruth, on us. Just like Ruth. Ruth was a Moabite, but they, okay, she was married to an Israelite in a time of judges where everybody did what was right in their own sight. Naquam, I still don't understand why you have the screen uh, screen on. <laughs> Shouldn't it be our faces? You know what I'm saying? Because we're, we're not even having verses. It's just like it's the mirror effect, like Inception. Yeah, but I, I was going to pull up something else. I just. Uh, but you see, Naquam, what I'm saying is I know. I can't even jump over to the screen I want to show and really focus on the But Naquam, so see, now that the law that you can't have a foreign wife is in effect, according to your understanding, in the kingdom, I'm not talking about what he should have done back then. In the kingdom, why would he have her as a wife? Because that would mean Israelites will have foreign, at least one Israelite will have a foreign wife in the kingdom. But you said earlier that can't be. I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, that I'm talking about the Israelites in this time who know the law. So there the will law. be. So that means that Cushite is going to escape slavery because she's Moses' wife. Yes, yeah, she's going to save slavery, but she's still his possession. So first of all, when you're dealing with somebody that already belongs to something, right? It's just like this. If you were my servant, if you was my servant in the kingdom, I'm going to beat you back in. But I might find an Edomite that's really nice that I actually like. And he can have more mercy in the kingdom because it's my decision on how I want to treat my servant. If right. I want to give no. my servant hugs and flowers, I can do that. If I want to beat her, if I want to beat your back in, I can do that. Why? Because you're my possession. I own it. So you have certain men in the past before right. the law was given, like Moses, you know, so like, Nicole, like, like you, Judah, like Judah with the Canaanite woman. Like you like have certain mother, you have certain people who married uh, other races of women before the law was given. I know, I in, understand. In the kingdom, so you just like Hagar. So you and, believe you have you have ch you have children as slaves, right? They'll be like Edomite children, for example, or Ammonite children, right? Let me read it. Let so no, it. hold on. But since you so you believe you'll have children as slaves in the kingdom, if those children disobey you as slaves, will you also beat their back in? If the children oh diso first of all the children ain't going to disobey me because they're going to see what I do to their daddy and they ain't going to never want to do anything to transgress against. So me. now, but if they grow up, if they grow up and they figure they're going to do something, see this is the thing in the kingdom. So you're not going to be you kingdom, won't beat any gonna, children. You said what? So you won't beat any of the children who are who are your slaves. You're only going to beat the parents. No, I'm saying the, the children are not going to be rebellious once they see what I'm going to do to their parents. Well, why would if they're not going to be rebellious, why would they grow up and become rebellious? If they grow up and re be rebellious, then the, when they become rebellious, they're going to die. It's not going to be no whooping their backs and they're going to be utterly plucked up and destroyed. Let so me you're going to you're going to kill children in the kingdom? Well, I mean, we, we killed children in the past. You want to you want to read that? Did the Israelites kill children in the past, brother? What's the youngest you would say you would kill a child? Would you kill brother, a one-year-old? Brother, you asking questions. You trying? I see what you trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to make you. I'm trying to see. I'm gonna show, you what, the, I'm gonna show you what the Bible say because you don't think that the Bible is a real book, and you think that God is wrong for allowing us to do certain things. So let me just read. Well, it. would it you say, be? Oh, dark, would this you? Is Psalms 137 verse eight. It say, "Oh, I know." <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna start from seven. It says, "Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, so-called Caucasians." 
in the day of Jerusalem who said, raise it, Don't raise it, the Bible. the foundation thereof, destroy it, destroy it. O daughter of Babylon, because Edom is the daughter of Babylon. That's what we're living in. The great Stop, Babylon stop adding to the Bible, please. It doesn't say it any says of that. It says that, the daughter of Babylon. No, it doesn't Edom. say so-called Caucasians and all that crap you just added. Man, I don't care. First of all, who's the daughter I of Babylon? I know you don't care what the Bible really says. Daughter, Thank you. you. Know, I, it's not that the Bible don't say it. I don't care what you're saying, because the Caucasians are the Edomites. And, of course, it's not going to say Caucasians right here. Of course it's not. Caucasian, Thank you. Caucasian wasn't even a word yet. So, of course, it's, man, man, bro, stop playing games. First of all, answer who the daughter of Babylon is today. What civilization is that? Would you agree One that West, America is the daughter of Babylon? Of course not. No. So who, what, 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 what country is the you, daughter of Babylon? You literally think Psalm 137 is about America, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just answer me this. What country is known as the daughter of Babylon today? It's it's not America. You're wrong then, about that. Can you that. tell me which one no. it is? Yeah, it's not a no. The well, daughter you can't of Babylon tell me is which one it is. That means you don't know, so you can't tell no, somebody that does. No, no. Back then, it's, it's Babylon. It's a way to talk about Babylon. The city's okay, being personified. Which, which country is the here, daughter of Babylon? It's right here. It's Babylon and Edomites that are being talked about. These are the people being judged here. No, I'm oh, saying daughter what of Babylon. Country, what country is known today or uh, or period? This now. no. That's just what you guys think. Well, just because you think bro, you're not answering the question, bro. I'm asking it's you not America. Question. It's not. It's it will be oh, Babylon at this time. America. I'm asking you who it is, bro. Daughter of Babylon. Babylon today? Daughter of Babylon in a technical sense would not exist because there's just no Babylonian Empire. Hold on. In so you're so, so you saying that the, this the, the the Bible is talking about an empire that don't exist anymore right here? Yeah, the Bible talks about well, a lot of empires that don't exist anymore. Where's the Hittite kingdom? It's gone. Bro, bro, where's the bro, where? Bro, hey, hey, where's the Hittite saying, bro, Empire? You know what you're talking about. Where's the Hittite like, Empire? The Hittites. The Hittites. The Hittites, the Hittites the Edomites, and when the we Hittites, find out who the Edomites are, when we do, no, I didn't first, say the doc, No, I did not say that. White people. They're Caucasians. The so-called white men. So <laughs> okay. Her, I'm gonna that's, read verse eight now. Oh, that's not of the topic Babylon, of our debate. They are to be destroyed, meaning they're not destroyed yet. They are to be destroyed. So this dude is a damn liar. He said, "Oh, daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed." Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou have served us. Who is the us? The Israelites. Let's read verse 9. It says, Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones. That little Edomite baby, get his head smashed into the rock. I can't wait. So you're going to ask me what age? I ain't going to tell you what age, but just know, guess what? I'm going to be happy because the scriptures say I would be, and I believe God. He said, Happy if you shall kill, he be. But if you that kill, if you the Naquam. It's the stone. So, so you're looking, that's, that's you're, so right so you're looking forward. You're looking forward. You're looking forward to smashing babies' heads on rocks. I'm looking forward to fulfilling this prophecy in one, Psalms 37, verse nine, which is a great thing in the eyes of the Most High. Will you also goes, smash African babies who are Hamites' heads on rocks? Listen, I'm gonna smash whoever the Lord tells me to smash, and I'm not gonna do anything that the Lord tells me not to do. Oh. How about that? Is that a good answer? Well, the Bi the Bible said, "Don't add to the scripture." Yeah, you've been doing that I all didn't night. Add nothing to the scripture. You just don't like to be when a scripture is being put in a proper context. You want me to have my <laughs> people kind of guess who the Edomites are today? <laughs> Psalm one thirty seven applies to America. Like, oh, but I can't tell them who Edom is today, even though we know that the people that up Edom are not calling themselves by the name of Edom today, bro. You sound crazy. You telling me pretty much don't call. Uh, just use the uh, the name that's in the Bible. Don't call them what they're called in the modern day. Only call them by their ancient titles. You sound crazy. No, I'm going to use the modern day title that we use for them ancient people, the Edomites, the Idumians, okay. the Romans, the Latins, the damn, uh, the damn Greeks. I'm going to use the terms for them that they're being called today. And if they're called so, America, which didn't exist, if they're called Caucasian, that didn't exist, or where they're called so-called Europeans, which didn't exist gonna, at the time, I'm going to use those terms so that my people can understand when I'm talking about Esau or when the Bible's talking about Esau, they'll understand exactly who the Edomites are that God hates so much. So in the kingdom, you're going to beat people's backs. You're going to murder children and beat children, and you're going to be happy about it, right? You read the you are you you saw the what the Bible said. Now, if you, you mur if you if you kill Edomite children, then who's going to grow up and be your slaves, bro? They're 
the children that didn't transgress again. What are you talking about? What do you? How does a baby like? transgress? You said you're going to kill children because they trans. How does a baby transgress against you as a slave master? I just told you I'm not. My my focus is not. Um, my focus is not harming or having to do anything to children. Like I said, just like how they had us in slavery, where what they call buck breaking and stuff like that. Even though we ain't gonna do all that faggot shit y'all was doing. Excuse my language. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say do you, that. Do you uh, look? Do you look forward to buck breaking too? Is that something you're into? Bro, I'm literally telling you no. Even though uh, that's well, why are you bringing it up? Like it's I'm, the reason why I'm bringing it up because I'm about to do, I'm about to explain the mental process of it. Because once our kids see what we, uh, once your your children, once you eat of my children, see the things that we're going to do to their fathers, they will know not to do what their dads did. They're going to know hmm. not to transgress. So it's going to be so easier might, to have more cooperative slaves when they know that their daddies and their uncles are getting beat and getting whipped and getting killed. When they see that, damn man, dad, dad. I, it, Listen, they not they not gonna want to act up. Well, so if you, kill, up. if you kill, if you kill, at least not as right. a child. And so like if I you said, kill, if anybody acting up, eventually we just root up. Listen, we will. I'm about to show you a scripture and show you what we. But if you do. kill, if you kill their parents, who's gonna take care of the children? Who's gonna take care of the children? Yeah, are you gonna have to nanny other white slaves. children? Other slaves, dumb dumb, just like how y'all took ours from our mothers and our fathers and made other people raise us. That's what we, man, bro. Come so on, bro. You like, so you like what y'all was doing to us. Like, if so you, you like, hold on, listen. If you just think you about like, what y'all was doing to us, you wouldn't have to ask these stupid questions. So, so you I'm like gonna, that strategy of the white slave masters to make know, other I slaves? Hate it. I hate it. That's why I think they deserve double. Now, I'm going to read okay. this. This is Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 14. Well, so if, this, if, hold on, let me if read you... This, I got a scripture. You can hold that question. And I'll, I'll let you uh, ask it right after I finish this, bro. I've been answering all your questions. I want to just read this. Also, this your says, camera your camera is too low. It's cutting off the top of your forehead, Naquam. Oh, my bad. There you go. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. It says, thus says the Lord God against all my evil neighbors that in touch the inheritance that which I caused my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land and I will pluck the house of Judah from among them. And it shall come to pass after that I have plucked them out. I will return and have compassion on them and I will bring them again. Every man to his own heritage, every man to his land. Right. Verse 16. This is the breaker. It says in. It shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name, the Lord liveth, as they taught my people to swear by Baal through your Christianity and Catholic stuff. You cause us to follow the dim devil, Baal. He said, then shall they be built in the midst of my people. He said, then he will, he will allow your people to be built up in the midst of us, right? But if you don't, look, but if they will not obey, I will utterly pluck up and destroy that nation, said the Lord. So the thing is, if your children are disobedient, it's because you're di you, you adults are being disobedient. So we're just going to pluck up and destroy all of you, man, woman and child. Is that is that does that make sense to you? Well, if you destroy everybody, who's going to be your slaves? The other nations. There's a lot more nations than you. But I thought you wanted to whip white slaves specifically, you said. Me, me personally? Me personally? Yeah. You said you said you wanted to break my back. I didn't say anything about white slave. I used the term Edomite slave when I said I wanted to beat your back in. That's referred mm. to you by what the Bible calls you. Now okay, I, so do, I do I do I do want to whip my Edomite slaves. I do want to yeah. beat them. But Will I want to do them? the same thing with any nation of people that came against us, whether they're the uh hemetic races, Ishmaelites. Uh, whoever, yeah, uh, yeah, the the, the so Moabites, you'll, the Moabites, you'll whip your, you will also, you also whip your black African Hamitic slaves, bro. I just said I definitely want to beat my him. The doodle, you you know, like the one that just had his head up that cow ass. If I catch him doing that in the kingdom, guess what I'm gonna do to him? I don't know. What are you gonna do to him? I'm gonna beat his back in. I'm gonna kill him. He's dead. Well, if you kill him, then who's going to be? Because remember, the guy was doing that I, to listen, produce man, milk. You act like it's just one of them. It's millions of them. Just like so, you think there'll be a 
Just like as millions of y'all, as millions of Hamites. So are you going to have other Israelites working for you to control your slaves? Or are you going to be able to control a whole like plantation of hundreds of, listen, of, me, of it, slaves? Listen, me and my family, listen, all of it. Listen, there's going to be so many Israelites that are going to be saved. And then there's going to be so much that's going to be resurrected in the kingdom of heaven that already passed, who died in the faith and died in righteousness that you don't agree that they were in at all. There are going to be so many resurrected in the kingdom that, yeah, there's going to be more than enough slaves of uh, or servants of your people, as well as all the other nations on the earth. And I know, but how many there's, and there's more than 18 nations of people. How many how many slaves do you think you could reasonably manage on your own? Man, if you're talking about being able to live forever and have everlasting life and being able to have the power of God inside of me. Hell, shit, I'll take, matter of fact, I'll take your whole family and your whole family tree up until, give me 15 generations. I'll take Would 15 generations of uh, vocab Malones. <laughs> so you sound, you, do you believe I'm an Edomite? Uh, do you believe I'm a white person? From what you said in videos that I heard uh, so far, okay. ain't you like, a, ain't you, ain't you like, uh, like, uh, so Caucasian, ain't you, you Caucasian? And, are, are you saying you prefer white slaves over, no, no, over no, black no, no, Hamitic no, no, slaves? No, that. Are you a Caucasian? I don't. I don't describe myself as on Caucasian. Your father's, on your father's side, what is your father? I guess that's what you guys would say, but what that's what you father? guys would say. Where's your father? Uh, he's my father's a human male. Let's just, <laughs> according to what you guys would according to what you guys would say. What race or nationality? Well, okay. I mean, if you want to do that, uh, what, what what was your father? What race or nationality is your father? What what race or nationality is your father? Oh, I'll, I'll answer you after you answer me. What race or nationality is your mother? I mean, do you do you want to bro, answer those bro, questions bro, too? Bro, bro, I'll answer that too, but I want you my question as answer first. Let's say, let's say, let's say it's you correct. Like, you bro, believe. you're scared to confess something that's going to be like, well, I'm yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to confess <laughs> that because I'm worried you know, about what I'm bringing. Well, yeah. you, you know, damn well you going into chains, man. Stop playing, bro. So now, you believe. So do you believe, would you say that you prefer to have like white Edomite slaves or black Hamitic slaves? Um, I prefer, first of all, y'all not going to last forever. Let me get a scripture. Y'all ain't even going to last that long, man. I know, but I'm saying while, while white people are here, would you prefer white Edomite slaves or black African slaves? Which ones would you prefer to work your plantation? Well, well seeing the fact that, let me read this verse. Because this is the reason why I prefer Edomites. This is the reason. So you why prefer, prefer. So would you say that white Edomite slaves are better than black African slaves? Bro, I'm gonna show you why I prefer Edomites. You asked me a question. Let me answer it. It's Ezekiel okay. seven twenty four. He said, "Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled." So the thing is, your people are the worst of the heathen. So I prefer to have Edomites as my slave overall, but I prefer to have all the servants that the Most High wants to give me. Rather, you know, it don't matter what race they are or nationality they are. You know, I know they won't be Israelites, but it doesn't matter the skin color. See, that's how I know you're racist. You're so focused on the skin color. Listen, all Edomites are not white. Some of y'all going to be dark as hell. Some of y'all going to be heavily melanated. And guess what? I'm going to enjoy beating they back in. I'm going to enjoy beating all, no matter what color or shade your skin is as an Edomite. In the kingdom, mm -hmm. I'm going to enjoy whipping your back in no matter what if you're an Edomite. So Period. if you, let's say, let's say you were beating me, right? And you knock my tooth loose. Come on, let's not put that thought in no, our mind. No, no, Quan. Well, you, you, really you hey, no, no, you brought it up, not me. You, you said really several times. Quan, let's say you're beating me and you knock my tooth out. What will you have to do with me? Quan, if you beat me and you knock my tooth out, what do you have to do with me? If I knock your tooth out, if, if you knock my tooth out when you're beating me, what will you have to do to me? If, if if I, it, if you're talking about according to the law? Yeah, let's say you're beating me and you knock my tooth out. What will you have to do to me? Well, you know. You already know what I would have to do. What? Get the law. Get the law on it. You won't, you, you won't answer me? The thing is, you know what would happen? Is I have to keep going as far as if you were as an Edomite, right? As uh -huh. an Edomite slave. If I was to knock your tooth out, I would have to continue to beat you to death. 
Why would you do that instead of letting me go like Exodus 21, 27 commands you? Because the Bible says in the book of, let me get the scripture real fast. Because Exodus 21, 27 I'm you, says, I'm going to tell you the difference. If he, knocks, time, if he knocks out a tooth of his male or female slave, he shall let him go free on account of his tooth. Now, why is that law in the Bible? I'm going to show you the difference, bro. The law in the Bible is because at that time, your people didn't do anything. And a lot Forget of about my cases, people. Listen, listen, I'm Whatever giving you, you the answer, are. bro. The, huh? the, the, I'm giving you the answer. The, at that time, the Edomites and other nations of people, they weren't doing us so bad to where we had to be, uh, be so brutal towards them. But in, in Revelation 18 and 4, it literally tells you that he will get it. Let me get it. Because he tells Revelations why okay but, but, it was, but it's going to be worse it's going to be worse than it's going to be worse for y'all in the kingdom it's going to be believe, way worse you, for y'all now you told me earlier you believe you try to keep the law exodus 21 27 says if you knock out the tooth of a slave you have to let them go you just I told me you, but you just told me you would violate the law and continue no, to I'm beat them to death I'm gonna violate but, the law. I'm yeah you would because it says if you knock out their tooth it doesn't say you get to beat them to death it says you have to let them bro, go let me so the second you, you knock out my tooth you have to let me go so oh, you're gonna you have to huh listen so so you you you're not understanding what I'm about to get to but I'm about to just read it for you so you can understand right this is revelation chapter 18 verse 6 it says reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup that she had filled to her. So you know how they was beating us in. They was knocking our teeth out. They was force feeding us with a pipe and they didn't let us go. When you look at how they burnt us up, how they brutalized us, there's a lot of things that your people well, were they Were us. they keeping the law? Were they keeping bro, the law bro, though? Bro, bro, listen, listen, there's a lot of things that your people did to us that you didn't allow us of course they wasn't keeping the law so guess okay, what so why are you looking you know, at them as that's an example why the scripture says reward her even as she rewarded you because you didn't consider the law you didn't consider anything righteous so, when you were doing those things to us so when it comes to getting your payback when it comes to when it comes to and when i say you i'm talking about edomites you edomites right he said reward her even the, as she rewarded you Let, in the look, process in the process double her and to, hold on, listen. It says a double her unto her, double according to her works. So if I knock one of your teeth out, then you need to you need double that. <laughs> listen, you need another tooth knocked out. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I mean, you just told me you would violate the law in order. I'm not to violating your, the law, but yes, I'm doing, yes, yes, what I'm doing. Yes, you did. Because the Bible, let me tell you, Nikwam, you've been you've been going for a while. Check this out. Because the Bible says, "Let go the slave." You Bro. said you would just kill them. Now, what about if you knock out or blind them in the eye, Nikwam? What if you what if you blind your slave's eye when you punch them in the eye? What would you do, brother? If you just if you blind brother. their eye, what do you have to do, Nikwam? I just told you what I would do, right? Well, or what the Israelites are going to do in the kingdom. No, no, but, but I'm talking about what the Bible all says. Going to happen so, when Christ returns, right? Naquan, Christ, but why Christ, are you willing to violate the law in order to fulfill your lust fantasy about Bro. getting revenge on people? Bro. The Bible says, Naquan, just understand, Bro. the Bible Bro. says Bro. one thing. Bro, the Bible says not, to do one thing, Naquam. I just read. Yeah, I, just I heard you very clear. The Bible says to do one thing, but Naquam says I'll do another. The Bible says if you knock out your servant's tooth, let him go. Naquam says if I knock out my servant's tooth, I murder him. The Bible says if you blind your servant's eye when you beat them, if that happens, let them go. Naquam says, I'll murder them. You are not a law keeper. I'm glad you have shown everyone here that you won't even keep slaves according to the law because you know why you don't care about the law you care about fulfilling your lustful revenge fantasies no i i care about this right here this is what i care about because you don't understand the context you don't care about exodus 21 26 27 i don't care i'm gonna go back to it because you clearly don't understand bro you know i'm honestly i can tell you've never i can tell frankly you've never even thought about exodus 21 before i'm gonna read it again for you because you understand you know, a lot of y'all going to be killed with the sword. And listen, like I said, in the kingdom, when Christ returns. 
He's going to proclaim liberty to captives. He's going to set liberty those who are oppressed. That's the good news according to Scripture, not, not what Naquam was talking about tonight. Not at all. So this has been a very important debate, a very important discussion. I pray that it blesses you. I do not know what happened to Naquam. I did not knock him off. I have no ability to do that. This is his stream yard. This is his, his channel. This is his show. But somehow something happened. I'm going to respectfully bow out because it appears he's not coming back. I was trying to wait a little bit to see if he was coming back, but it looks like he is not able to come back. But brothers and sisters, if you're watching this, pray for Naquam. Pray for Naquam. Pray for the Israelites in the chat who believe this kind of message. Please pray for them that the Lord would speak to their heart that they would see what they're believing is false and that they would come up out of it. We've got uh, blood, f blood fact, popery. Wait, blood fart popery. Definitely. You want to come out of that and everyone else come out as well. You guys have a great night. All right. I came back in. Um, my uh, phone had, had uh my internet had went off so i'm on my phone but i just want to say uh i love it i love you israel and your so-called blacks hispanics native americans scattered throughout the whole earth including in africa i want to say shalom and y'all have a beautiful week